So see here, the thing is that a system is connected to a network 192.168.1.0. So concept was that this is a network, and in this network, this network is having. We already discussed in IP addressing. Each network is have its own ID. So the network ID is given 192.168. Zero and inside that network, one device is there whose IP address is 192.168.1.2, which is a host inside this network which is having IP address like this. This system wants to check its own connectivity to internet. So this system wants to check its connectivity that whether this system is connected to internet or not by sending control packet with source IP this. So uh, the thing is that. Uh, this is uh, up from application layer onwards message will be there which is a part of application layer and uh, it, it wants to check its own connectivity so it might be that like uh, it is going to open its command prompt from there it is going to write the loopback address so let's say the uh, port number of source device is let's say add zero add zero and let's say it is going to check internet so let's say the device port number is 80 So this port number work. These are port numbers, and these port numbers are associated by transport layer. Transport layer is going to do this. Thereafter, we need to add IP address of source which is requesting. That is 192.168.1.2. And after that, there is a part that we call as a destination address. So this complete part, source address and destination address part, added by Network layer. Now the concept here is here is the concept that in destination address, so what should we have to add so that we can check that whether this device is successfully connected to internet or not. So for self testing, so for self testing purposes, there is a concept that is called as loopback testing. That is called as loopback testing, and that is done with the help of series 127. Now you know that 127 series 127.0.0.0 and its range is up to 127.255.255.255. But by default, this address and this address is reserved. This address is reserved for network ID part and this address is reserved for DBA part. So before loopback was designed, these addresses were by default they have uh, they have. Uh, reserved so what is the remaining one you can use any address between this range that is going to work as a valid loopback testing so here this is 192 192 they all are they a and b are neglected we can ignore it because it is not uh, uh, not following the rule of uh, loopback addressing here this 127.0.0.0 is given but if this is also given then we have to ignore d and we have to answer c by Because if all two options are given like this, then we have to treat it as a network ID part, and we have to treat this option C as a valid loopback address because we have to count all the valid addresses between that that range. Correct. So this is the thing. Let's say if nothing was given here, also something else was given like 189 dot something dot something dot something. In that case, we can use it. But here, if this is the thing, we have to give option C on the most prioritized. We have to prioritize option C. Getting the concept, this is the thing. 